With the second surge settling in, how close are we to a vaccine? That's the question. Trials are underway at several Chicago hospitals. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey spoke to someone taking part in a vaccine trial about the experience and joins us from UI Health. Megan. Brad, the Moderna trial was fully enrolled as of Friday, and here at UI Health, doctors are well into giving that second dose of the vaccine, and they're staying optimistic that they'll be able to give some sort of report on its effectiveness before the end of the year. Were you nervous when you got the first shot? I was uh, having a conversation with God. It's like, Okay, it's all right if you give me a sign that I shouldn't do this. 68-year-old Bonnie Blue told me she was hesitant to sign up for the UIC Moderna COVID-19 trial. She suffers from a very severe form of asthma. I have been on life support 13 times. But it was a news story over the summer that helped change her mind. In a two-week period, the number of newborns born with the virus doubled. And... It's like, no, you have to do something. She's one of about 430 participants between UIC and the University of Chicago enrolled in the study. One, two, three, four gallons. She's doing her best to stock up on essentials, limiting her trips outside. They enrolled 30,000 people, recognizing only a small number of them would actually get the disease. And of those, only a small number would get symptomatic with it. Blue says she's had no complications so far and documents her body's responses daily. The seniors in your life. This trial is one of two, soon to be three trials in the Chicago area. Northwestern Medicine is home to a trial for a vaccine being developed by Oxford University's Jenner Institute in conjunction with pharmaceutical giant AstraZeneca. UI Health also plans to participate in a phase three trial of a Johnson & Johnson vaccine in the coming weeks. When it comes to the Moderna trial, Dr. Novak says that at one point they had to slow enrollment because of a shortage of supplies, but they're currently back on track to have information about its effectiveness by December. If you had to give a progress report as of October 26th, how are you feeling about the trial? I'm excited that we've gotten this far, and uh, and uh, but we're not done. Everybody has a part to play in this pandemic. It's not just a me thing. Now, the Food and Drug Administration authorized the restart of AstraZeneca trials on Friday after they were put on hold due to the possible illness of one participant. Today, Northwestern Medicine did not have an update on the, pro the progress, I should say, of their AstraZeneca trial here. Live at UI Health, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators.